Hello, good morning, and hello to the people who will be watching this on replay because it is early. I know it's early. Anyway, um, good morning, or good whatever time you're viewing this. Um, I wasn't sure when I was going to be able to stream. I just could not let this one go by, even though I had other plans for this particular stream. I couldn't help myself. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good morning. Are you? Um, hi. Good morning, Sarah. Sarah, I don't know if you got my message, but I'm going to uh, mod you, okay? If that's not okay with you, let me know. I'll give you a minute because I know there's a lag. Okay, so... Um, the other, okay, so I wanted to open this up, though, with an absolute laugh, okay? Um, okay, let's see. Let's, let's have a chuckle first before we get into disgust. <clears throat> okay. Cannot believe it's Monday already, and my schedule is changing, so it's gonna be crazy. Um, all right, let's see. This is the funniest shit I have ever heard. Okay, let me do that. Thank you. All right, I just did it. Thanks. Um, okay, this is the funniest shit I have ever heard. I would be humiliated, like humiliated. <laughs> I mean, I can't sing, but come on, come on. All right. <laughs> Wait, am I doing this right? Hold on. Wait a sec. Oh, that's right. Hold on a second. Uh, I'm such a boomer. What do I do? Oh, okay. Hi, Danny. How are you? Frauka? Let's see. I'm glad to see you, everybody. All right. What the hell am I doing? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Jesus. I'm so busy looking down in another spot that I'm not paying attention to my screen. Okay, wait. Why is my screen still... Okay. First of all, who is this? Who? Who is this? A distant, 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 much thinner, better looking relative? Because this is not foodie, okay? This is like 99 filters and that one works, you know? Yeah, we just started. We literally just started because this is this is just my opening chuckle before we get into the fuckery. And hello, soft reset. Hello. Yes. It's like, are you serious? Hello. Good morning. Okay. 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 All right. Um, here we go. Let's listen to some of this nonsense. Hey. Oh, what do I do? Okay. Hey, so I wanted to write a song. Let me turn this up. God oh, help us. Real pathetic and starfish. So I thought I would write one and call it at the end of the day. And, um, oh my god, at the end of the day, <laughs> I'll sing a song. I know you got the notifications on, I'm all wrong, but you're the one watching me, though. At you're the, the one the watching day, at the end of the day. You think it's funny, you think it's grand. While well, I'm away in the land of sand, <laughs> the land of sand, you'll fade away and I'll remain. Yes, day, that's exactly what she's doing. To say, yeah. oh, you're like, day. stop. Hey, 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 yeah. Oh, I my God. To him, but he's watching me on your TV. And <laughs> he never raised his hand. He oh, Jesus Christ. Sad, 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 skin. Sad, 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 skin. Oh my god! Sad, 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 
at the end of the day, you're still in a fake marriage. I'm about to end the song. Oh, please do! you very long, but I need to tell you something so. Oh, who is this a picture of? I wish I did. I wish I did. I wish I did. I can't. I can't. I'm done. I'm done. Oh my god. <laughs> we all it's like dude, we all I can't, I can't. Oh that was so bad. Oh my god. You know what I think about? Did she take that stupid pink sparkly microphone with her? Like, oh I better put this in my bag when I'm going to Kuwait. <laughs> This shit has me there in pain laughing so hard. Woo! Okay. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm in the land of sand. Oh, stop. <laughs> All right, let me see. Okay, that was a nice chuckle. All right. <clears throat> let me do this now. Okay, so I just could not let this, that was just too funny. Holy shit, this fuckery go by. I had another like something totally else planned for um this stream, but I'll get to it. But this, this is just like um it just amazes me. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I I couldn't just let it you know go by. Let me go to the beginning. Okay. Now in this sorry, I'm a trans oh okay okay. I thought that was so okay, you're saying that to soft reset. Okay. All day don't like it. You know what really got me pissed was Pete's I want to say, Pete, stand up for yourself, man. Stand up for yourself. You know, don't, like, the shit, like, what he had to say was ridiculous. It was ridiculous, and it was so weak. He, here she is putting you down, and you're just sitting there. I couldn't, you know, I wanted to say I'm shocked what she wrote in her, you know, that ridiculous shit in her uh, Instagram. But I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked at all. Nothing she does anymore shocks me. She is so vile. And if you've ever noticed, you know, it's not about her weight. Because you never really hear me say, no, you don't. You don't actually hear me ever say anything about Amber. You know, because I don't know Amber to the point, like, where I could say exactly what she's done that's not that's vile i know she's not the best person in the world i get that but there's something just to me so vile about foodie and and the way she is to people and just she's disgusting she's irrelevant pissed me the fuck off and should be called out but at the end of the day <laughs> you pick me You guys, I'm the worst singer. If I ever do something like that, just get together and have me committed. Okay? Okay. All right. So check this out. Uh, if you have, this is from last night, and it is what I heard so far. No matter what you've done, like, I hear a lot of other creators, and I wouldn't allow it on mine either unless it was somebody specific you know, specific type of person, but, um, to actually allow, to keep saying somebody's real name and allow the dot, you know, and, and basically be saying, oh, let's call, let the, in, what the internet will do what the internet does, you know, people's jobs and what they do on the internet, you know, just let, let's, let's just listen. 
so I killed some time this afternoon. I'm Let me know it. if the volume is the um as as is I'm off. Let me know if the volume is off a bit, like if, it, if she's too loud or I'm too loud or whatever, because I turned it up for what's her name. Right, Sarah, it's not about their weight. And by the way, you're a react on, on uh, Callie. Oh, my God. I watched it twice. It was so fucking funny. Okay. Just lower that a little bit, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, and no. I've been busy doing a lot of things. I had a very, very full day. <sighs> Who cares? I had a very full day planning lots of things. <laughs> regarding my future related to my future oh my and something very unusual happened to me today that i thought i would share with everyone hello everyone hello i return all of your hellos little disclaimer for everybody or anyone that listens on replay and might not know any better I am not now or never will be the just Jill that you hear her talking to in her chat. That is not me. I am it's just Jill. And if I would have known about that before, I may have, I don't know, not have used this name. <laughs> swear. Uh, but yes, not me. And if anybody ever sees anybody thinking that, please correct them. Okay, moving along. I was invited to a Zoom meeting. Um, who's this? What the hell is she talking about? Am I in the right thing? Hello, yes. Badge 08. Thank you for being a member for nine months. It's good to see you. I know you do, good guys. <laughs> Frauka. Right. Oh, honey, Kay, I'm making those pinwheel cookies again. Yeah, they're very tasty. They go over really well in this house. So I thought, why why fight it? Why why mix it up? Oh, my God. I'll make the pinwheel cookies again. So who cares? it's amazing to me how the hits keep on coming. It's amazing to me how these idiots, these tards, these mongs are continuing. Tards, my God. To insist that something that, it, that happened... And that happened in front of many witnesses I just want to did make not sure. happen. And can I remind everyone, by the way, you morons, you fucking idiots. Wow. Not you in chat, obviously. Can I remind all of you that in my interview uh, playlist is a conversation I had with Mike Rubin. Mike Rubin was my RA, my freshman year at Brown. And we reminisced about Brown. If you do not believe me, why don't you write him Did a I note miss part of the, and this ask beginning? Him about me. Invite him on your channels. Hold on. Invite him to cookies again. So, the third floor of Morris Champlin decided to invite me. Oh, God. Clearly become Strawberry Douche on the yeah, phone. Yeah, here we go. Hold the on. phone number here at Brown. All right. And we sorry, guys. I'm sorry. About Brown. If you do not believe me, why don't you write him a note and ask him about me? Invite him on your channels. Invite him on your <laughs> what you channels. Miss, uh... Why don't you do that? Do that. I highly, highly suggest <laughs> Show you your this. degree. Right. Um, so. You guys are so funny. Um, did I not... Did I not issue warnings? Or something. I did, didn't I? Ooh, sorry. I did issue warnings. Warnings? I issued many warnings. I'm sorry. Who? What does she mean she's issued warnings? It's like, I'm taking notes. I issued warnings. She tweets out shit. It's got to be this way, that way, this way. Like, who are you? Who do you, like, think that you are? Who do you think that you have um authority over you know what i mean you don't you don't have authority over anybody and if you call holding something over people's heads authority that's not you know that's not authority that's fucking blackmail hi the bandit how are you they called CBS on Yahoo. I do too, Sarah. I believe that with 
they, they, I'm convinced. I don't, there's, you know, like I talked about it last time, you can't have the DNA of evidence every time. It, the world just doesn't work that way. And anybody, you don't even have to have kids to know this. But, um, sorry, um, you absolutely know that they do not give out that information ever who called and she knew that so demanding I demand you produce that evidence right now is not going to work she produced enough evidence in my opinion that a jury you know what I'm saying would convict um if you know if you were doing like a mock jury thing um, just insane, just insane. And, and uh, uh, here we go. Let's listen to this because I didn't hear this. I'll, I'll show you what made me. Put People this are not on. listening. They think I'm playing some kind of a game. Before I get into that, what? I why are you doing any of this? That there are people who are still clinging to the notion. Oh God. That the um, hi Carlos, how are you? Um, that the docs that was revealed of Strawberry Douche on Kiwi Farms is a failed docs. There was another video that was released. Uh, you can find it on my community. I'm app, sure. Showing that the docs of Strawberry Douche is correct. The person called Strawberry Douche on the phone, the phone number of this so-called failed docs. Oh, my God, the Danny, voice matched, I just read your the other thing. That's funny. The individual who did the weather report on Belinda's channel, oh. Strawberry Douche. If what? you look at that video, you will notice that there the are weather. some very interesting artworks on this individual, Aaliyah Alexander's Facebook page. There we go. We got a name. A very psychotic, menacing-looking strawberry with very scary teeth. Much so, number one, we've got her giving out a, a name. Okay. I would hardly allow that in 99.5% of the situations. We we know the one inbred, that type of person. That, yeah, that's different. But that's like, okay, everybody, this is all, you know, what it is. But this, this is a straight up trying to dox somebody over and over like even if the dox is out already you just don't do that you know um i don't know i just it feels dirty to me like skin crawly okay only okay, so they can say we <laughs> right i'm trying to see what you guys are saying let's let's come back with trip and if she couldn't behave. Oh, hell. Soft reset. Oh, my God. Uh, yes. Yes. The axis. Yes. Mm-hmm. You guys kill me. It, yes, Frauka. Absolutely. I meant to use that word before, too. It was swimming around in my brain. So, the thing is, you just don't do that. Thirdly... You're talking about how everybody else goes IRL and she doesn't like the farmers and blah, 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 da na 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 Or na 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 as someone says, right? But yet you will go and fuck around with people with the 4chan. It makes no sense, okay? It just doesn't. And... um for somebody who doesn't have any much to do with um, the farms, you sure are very interested in farmers, every thread, every sentence, every word. You know what I mean? And what she's doing here is, is just dead wrong. They're up in her, and then she's going to say something and then tr quickly try to walk it back, but she's not the one doing it. Okay, she's not involved. She's just, it's other people. All right, now, it's funny to say. Much like Strawberry Douche's PFP on Kiwi Farms. Oh my if you God. think that I, for one second, am sorry I... that this individual's identity has come out, you've got the wrong lady. I couldn't be happier. 
I make no apologies for it. If you don't like it, well then, I guess that you're gonna have to go and stand with the other uh, racists and the other what? bigots and the other uh, people who like to spread lies about people's families. Okay, okay, blah, me. blah, blah, and so on, and it's like a broken record. Okay, the thing is, she talks about standing with racists. Now, there's a certain person, I'm not even going to say who it is, I don't need to, because if you've, if you've seen it, you know. And to top it off, this woman is Jewish. This, uh, even not being Jewish, this disgusts me completely. Um, a certain person that she is very friendly with was wearing a hoodie with 88 on it. And most of, I'm sure we know what that is, you know, I hope because I don't really want to say it. Um, but yeah, um, how could you not consider that racist? And it's racist against, against very much so against you. Eh, Jesus. Go stand with the other racists. Okay. They accuse each Jesus. other of committing crimes and things of that nature. Um, yeah, exactly, Franca. Wouldn't be me. Guess what Strawberry Douche does for a living? Ooh, three yes. days off. You lucky. I got a whole bunch of no days off. It turns out that Strawberry anything. Douche is a nurse. Remember that um Now we've got that the... individual. Um Remember that individual who was nailed a little bit. Yes. to the cross because Uncut um, jams. she uh tweeted out or sent out tweeted on TikTok. Out. I don't even know where the fuck it was. Yes. She um, that video of herself rolling her eyes and sighing because a patient was asking for medication. And remember all those smug cat lady Karens who decided to report her to um, the hospital where she worked. Remember that huge drive? Because a woman I didn't know that it happened. I mean, I know what it happened, but I didn't know that people about an individual reported it. Who posts the kind of things that Aaliyah Alexander posts on Kiwi? Post. See, we got the docs again. Yeah, exactly and sec and thirdly, she's sitting here and acting like um, all the cat lady Karens decided to call her job, whatever, for what she did. But let's think about this. She's encouraging people to basically do the same for this douche person <laughs> let's just leave it at that <laughs> douche person i never thought i'd be saying that in my life this douche person yeah i'm not saying that nancy shouldn't have been disciplined right what i'm saying is exactly I'm gonna keep the same soft energy. reset uh, i wouldn't want that hello texas oh yeah alexander good morning i wouldn't want that a racist and anti-semite i wouldn't want that person in charge of my health care I wouldn't want that person coming in and starting an IV on me. What she does, as long of, um, as it has nothing you know, to do with her job and stuff, and they can't prove that it's I'm sure her, the internet will do it's its not thing. going not do to um, make her lose I don't her need job. To. I'm sure that enough people by now. Um, but Sarah, will the see one that you're video, talking about, yeah, my, that would uh, what would account. happen there. If you guys yeah. want to watch it and learn more about her and where she works and all of that stuff. My God. So, hey, Savage, how you doing? And I have very exciting news. Hi, ATX. Hi, babe. Do, you want to watch it and learn more about her and where she works it, it's something but what, what really I know she's been I, I, I'm sorry I can't even talk she, I know I have heard it with my own ears say she doesn't care she knows she's a hypocrite you could call her a hypocrite all day long right but the seriously the disgusting hypocrisy to stand up there and talk about they all go they 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 always need a they they go irl they they right well okay so um you're the one that's going irl with a watch this and find out more about her and her job i mean that's going too far she wouldn't like that and didn't like it if when it happened anything near that happens to her but it's okay for other people because she doesn't like because she doesn't like whatever this person said 
You know, it's a forum. If people can write whatever they want on there, take what is said on there with a grain of salt. It's not a source for real, for real. I mean, God. I have very exciting news. <laughs> Sarah said she's going to take it down all by Starting herself. Starting off 2023, right. <laughs> I loved that. Apparently, apparently, there's another big uh, identity reveal of another farmer coming <laughs> up. A farmer that many of us How know exciting, of, a guys. That many of us have read. A farmer who has smeared many of us. Oh, a farmer Jesus. who has defamed many of us. I won one of her giveaways a couple of years ago. Yep. We're this close. Oh, not honey, me, I I'm hear you. Participating in it because I'm not a master doxer the way certain other people are. But the people who are working on revealing the identity of this farmer are this close. Knowing you her, your rights probably are, saved it, sweetie. I, I love finding out who those scumbags are. Because, you know, it's very interesting when they can go on Kiwi Farms and they can post defamation and slander and they can get people ginned up and worked up and they can dox people and they can encourage people to contact people's jobs. But that's what you're doing right now! Them, you identify them and they squeeze... That is exactly what she's doing in this fucking video. Or I'm crazy. I mean, or both. <laughs> But seriously, you know, um, one of the things I, 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 I've been noticing is like, I really feel like they have gotten to the point where they live in this, you know, us against the world. And with the, remember when she was talking about the crossbow and they were going to have it put together by the time, next time she went there, whatever, a while ago we're not fucking around and who has come on the property that you i mean oh my god it's like really living in a fan like a fantasy world it's it's almost it's frightening you know it's frightening to know what sh they might end up doing to people um in their shared psychosis <laughs> I know I, I know I'm going far with that word but come on something's that's just crazy talk we are like stuffed pigs oh fucking well oh god the, I said before the website is protected the website cannot be sued totally understand that doesn't mean that individual farmers are protected and I'm so sorry you have about no protection. that and anonymity means nothing uh, it means nothing because a lot of anonymity means nothing because we'll hack right through you. Um, the thing I wanted to say is like when I do my giveaway, I'm going to do like that giftly where basically it ends up being money. This way, all I ever need from the person is an, an email address. You can make it up for that just for that, you know send it to you and that's that um but yeah it, it's better than having to um give out anything even a p.o box and you're screwed you know it's disgusting if people have had enough of your shit a lot of people have had enough of your shit the slander the defamation the lies yeah, the that's good. That um, so, uh, about reset. so many of us. Hey, hippie! And some of us have had enough, and some of us are like, oh, really? Drunk You're going to say that? Well, psychosis. guess what? This is who you are. Why don't you show your face and answer for all the shit that you've written about us? And why don't you, why don't you sh say that shit to my face? Say it to my face. Who With knows? Chest, Maybe they would. Not hiding behind an avatar. Not hiding behind the cloak of anonymity. We've had so many interesting revelations. April, what can I tell you? Thank you, Happy Stuff. Thank you, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate it. Oh, God. So, yeah, anonymity is not exact a guarantee Texas, of Texas, actually, thing. yeah, that's that's 100%. Eventually, every single one of the farmers that posts in that Hater Nation thread will be identified. And then they can decide how they want to proceed. But in the meantime, Strawberry Douche, Strawberry Douche is a nurse. Jesus. I, I and I'm sure that the internet will do what the internet does with that kind of information. And you'll help it along. Just saying. So, I know who's been defending Strawberry Douche and who's been tap dancing madly to defend the honor of Milady. Hey, I see how you doing. Yeah. 
You know that um, you know on December thirty first, Mr. Medicare hosted his last yeah. live stream. Jim is going to be greatly, greatly missed. Jim is very. I know that's cancer, something I've been. I don't. I think it started as a joke. I don't know if joke, he's going into hospice or if he's going to be staying at home. I have no idea. But wrong. Jim did the last stream, his last stream ever on New Year's Eve. And I'm sure that part of the reason it, that he did it yeah, is exactly. he to leave something behind And, for his and life. you know what? Yeah, go ahead. Hurrah, Keep calling and bothering and you a hospital. That stream, you watch those super chats pouring in. I, for one, couldn't be more thrilled because nobody is more deserving of that kind of financial support than somebody like Medecker. He is amazing. And if only some of these pousses who have been defending Strawberry Douche. Please don't some forget to hit to like Ill. in my uh, my um my stream. It helps me out of their so audiences. much. And grift and scam sympathy out of these same mongs who are accusing me of lying about where I went to school. If only some of them were, um, hi Holly. If only some of them are were they responsible? Acu are they accusing her of lying? I don't know. Or are they um, questioning if it's true? Does she have a, I, I always notice that she'll say, like when Sam's daughter's picture was posted, because she wanted a better picture post. Who the hell looks good in a mugshot, right? So, um, she says, oh, my mother was proud when I got into Brown. I never heard her say, when I graduated, you know? I thought she was doing undercover journal. Until she stopped. <laughs> oh my God! Right, you wanted to get right. You want to give the benefit of the doubt because oh, she just became right. Uh, you know, when you really, really look back, um, you find you realize that she probably was this way all along. She just wasn't as much. She didn't. She wasn't as bad. She has pushed the boundaries, and now she feels like she's got the right partners. Every group that she has ever, like, been in, she ends up falling out with them. You know, like, girl world, um, I guess you'd say drama community, um, uh, petty fam, um, all that. She always falls out with them. And they, I don't know why, but she does. And what the reasons were. But, uh, you know, you got to look at that and wonder, well, if, if you always have a problem with everybody, sometimes you got to look. Is it you? Maybe that's the problem? You know? Exactly, Danny. That's, um, all right. Oh, let me read this before I hit this. Let me see. Wait, I know there was one. Okay, yes, I have. I attended Brown, was accepted to Brown. She never said she grew up. Exactly, soft reset. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait. The story is she went to Brown but graduated from her due to family issues. So she transferred. Okay. Uh, that's the herb. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I feel like I was fooled. I enjoyed her magazine flipping. And her stories of working in New York, I found her when she did beauty. Wow. You know, I, I really loved, I'm, I love beauty. Like, absolutely. I am, love my makeup and my skincare. I do. The only reason I didn't do a channel with that is because I felt like there's like 20,000 of them and I did it like elsewhere. Um, and, and so I have a thing going elsewhere, but, um, you know, it, it's, I just, I don't know. I wanted to do something different and I'm still like not really sure what direction I'm going in. I'm just playing it by ear, you know? look after their I like and their kids when they get sicker or their whatever the is does, a, good a good story from, from the internet and a good provider um so I know, far I know. Well, I've you know something carlos stuck people, jim is uh mr medicare in if this only, um well you know not if only people used to people say the same thing about our chairs that they were very <laughs> and noisy. uh run out you know somebody needs to run out to the hardware store and by the way i wanted to give you guys an update So, you know, I have moved to a small town. Now, I'm not here permanently, but um, Lord willing, fingers crossed, I will be moving here permanently in the next few months, probably by the summer. I will be permanently in 
Indiana and uh, my house will be sold and I will be moved out of there and no more DC and that will be it. And I'll just drive back and forth to go see my aunt. Okay. So. Hmm. You know, one thing is true about this place and that is that there really isn't a lot to do here. There's not. Um, I mean, if one wanted to, one could drive around aimlessly like American graffiti, you know, but I'm not a teenager. So I thought, okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to make the most of my time. Hello, Jen. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. And thank you for being a member for 12 months. So I decided that I was going to make some hay and I went down to talk to some people. I thought I would go around sort of getting the lay of the land in this small rural town. I had some questions. I had questions. I just wanted to ask for my own um, my own good, my own edification, you know, just to make sure that I wasn't the one going crazy. So I decided to pay a visit to the local police station. And I went down there and I had a little conversation with uh, the men in blue. And they do wear blue here, by the way. Um, and I had a few questions that I wanted to ask. I think some of you will remember that a certain- Sorry about uh, that if I'm wrong, but oh well. In another state made certain claims but about I don't think I the am. police here in our town and about the way the conversation went and about certain things that were offered by the police. So I decided that I was going to ask a few questions because that's what I do for a living. I ask questions. So I asked, um, and all of you know that Negs is real name is Ron Corbin. It's not a secret. It's been revealed about a million times. So I went down there and I asked if they were exactly familiar soft reset. with somebody named Ron Corbin and the cops said no, they did not know that name, but the name does not ring a bell. Now, keep yeah, in mind, this yeah. is a very small town. And, and very, oh, very and by the town. way, very small town. if yeah, that makes me a cat lady, according to a certain woman, um, if you want to call her that. Um, yes, that makes me, um, Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Funny thing is, it's technically, it wasn't, it's not real, you know, it was a family member. But, yeah. Um, well, I'll talk, uh, I'll talk to um, my mods after. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's right, hippie go. They're great. But the impression that the human ape hybrid gave was that he was very no, well known to talk? local law enforcement and that he's a real troublemaker and a real problem in the area. They didn't know who the fuck he was. Okay. Funny so that story was the first is, if I you wanted. go back, yeah. like in the, that the one video, was, if somebody were to call you and say somebody's that not liked in their town the for many, you many all years, we offer up a welfare check, and the cops said no. That is something that does not happen. I said, has it ever happened? The cops said, well, I don't know about Correct, everybody, Ricky. but I can tell you that it is against policy. A welfare check Give me a minute. very, very specific reason. I'll be back, guys. I said, all right, well, along those lines, is it possible for somebody to call you up and say that they want to schedule a welfare check? Or do you automatically offer welfare checks? And then the person calling can say, well, why don't you drop by at such and such an hour? And the cop fucking laughed in my face, laughed at me, laughed at me. He goes, no, of course not. And the cop said that a welfare check has to be requested and it has to be done in a very specific way using very specific language. In other words, he gave me an example, gave me an example and said, for example, if you've got a couple and they are divorced or they are in the process of divorcing, or if there's a custody dispute and the husband calls uh, the wife, the ex-wife and asks to speak to the kids. Okay. And the wife says no, or the wife doesn't pick up the phone. The husband cannot call up and say, I want a welfare check done on my wife who's not picking up the phone and let me let me talk to my kids. Oh my God. That is not a fucking welfare check. A welfare check is done because Sorry, you guys that somebody's about my life cat. is being or threatened, cat, that somebody whatever. is in danger, that somebody is incapacitated. So in order for a welfare check to be conducted by the local police, the person calling <laughs> has to use very, very specific language in that request. Otherwise, the police don't come to the door. Got him. My God. Hey, Trash Panda. Thank you. Yeah, yes, soft Just reset. Just as I yeah. suspected. 
But oh, like wait, I said, Lloyd, I let like me to read make the whole thing. My time <laughs> when I'm here. Stop lying. Stop lying. The people who believe you are as stupid as you are, or wow. as full of resentment, hatred, and weirdness as you are, and as obsessed as you are, or they're trolls who are just enjoying the show because you are a spectacle. That's it. Anyway, so I wanted to fill you guys in on that. I've done my due diligence. I've done Happy. my due diligence. I've made nice with the local police. Very nice bunch of fellas and ladies. Uh, it's it's like Mayberry, you know, or no, like Dukes of Hazard. It has like one stoplight or something probably, and like three cops, and she she, she made nice. So, um, you know, this way when they do dirty, they would think, oh no, and believe you me. According to those posts, like from their neighborhood, their town, like Facebooky type forum, it didn't seem like it seemed like he was exactly the same years ago when he they were telling him to move, leave your mommies, all this stuff, just you know, over and over. Um, if you saw that stream, um, I think it was one of Sam's streams. They showed how he was you know, my God, like over 10 years ago, it was, it was exactly the same, except he, instead of people on the internet, he was talking about people in his town. So I have a feeling they know him. And, um, I like, you know, I take, um, uh, yeah, Sarah, I'm on you with that. And I feel like, you know, just take everything with a grain of fucking salt. Oops. I hit the mic instead of the... Oh, my God, I'm so tired today. <laughs> okay. So there's that bit of excitement. Hey, Kevin, how are you? Oh, okay. Look at you guys. So there was that you bit guys of excitement. are funny. It wasn't that exciting, but um, anyway. Oh, really tragic? I just saw a little clip of that, but I don't watch. You know, I don't watch. But... Um, I think that when one is in a hole, one should stop yeah, digging, do. but one keeps on digging and one creates a deeper hole for themselves. So there you have so it. There's no way she was maintaining a government. Oh, that well, is ridiculous. Yeah. I found a Plus, clip today. Plus, I, I wouldn't tell anybody, shit. especially type that into somebody on the internet. But I thought that we'd watch it. And then so I, that I they could dump it. Cookies. No. No. Because I'm all about the domestic goddess life when I'm here. Yeah, I saw that clip, mm -hmm. Tragic. I saw it. Too little, too late. But, you know, whatever. Um, okay, so you know that I feel very strongly about certain issues. You're funny. And are. Kelly J. Keene, who is an amazing um, campaigner <sighs> on an oh, issue yeah, that I, for one, care very, Sarah. very deeply about. An amazing woman who has been standing up for the rights of women. Thank you, Holly. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate it. Um, uploaded a clip of herself calling into a radio show five years, no, six years ago now. I'm sorry, I missed this. So we are going to watch a little time capsule. Uh, uh, we'll see. Well, of course, okay. Videl refuses to go on camera, Louie. And we all, I think we all know why, don't we? Well, I do. Oh, why? Because she's an old, uh, what was it? An old white man or something? Uh -huh. um, so I thought that we would watch this amazing I don't blame her. Because it is the most glorious 11 minutes of condescension and mansplaining that I have seen in a long time. Um, Kelly J called into LBC, AFK. which is a, uh, which is a, I, I don't even know what LBC is. I mean, they broadcast these shows that they do. Oh, yeah. And um, they she are amazing. And there's an individual <laughs> named James O'Brien who is one of the most <laughs> condescending soft. freaks I have ever seen. And so I thought that we would watch it together. I don't believe and, um, but no. Get suitably worked up and outraged about the content of it together. And we'll see how well these particular points of view aged. All right. So let me bring this up because this is important, you guys. This is this is not this, like this is a important. bunch of weirdos trying to figure out where I went to uh, to college. I don't care where or if you went to college all right. at all. Who is this? LBC so, um, Kelly. Let's check J. out V. James O'Brien. You're discombobulated by. It's eleven thirty-eight. Kelly is in Hilperton. Kelly, what would you like to say? 
Well, I, I just wondered a couple of things you just said there about lives as a girl or as a boy, and I'm just wondering what those uh, terms even mean. Because for me, there's gender, which is the role that we are, which are forced upon us, um, what, what, um, depending on what sex we, we're born. And then there's sex, and sex is immutable. It doesn't change. No matter what you do, you still have XX or XY chromosomes, and you have anomalies in between. Soft reset, but you have exactly. Things, which makes them that is intersex. true. So lives as a girl, what does that even mean, James? Well, uh, in the context of the sort of stories that we're discussing, it means that they are... Just out of curiosity, why are we listening to this? Like, what was her uh, thing, her aim here, her goal? I, I, that part, I'm a little lost on. But, okay. Um, let me just read what some of you said. I saw some funny shit go by. Um, oh, away from Key. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm so up on the lingo. Okay. The uh, bandit app. Yeah, I know. It's like totally feeling like somebody duped you, you know? And then Sarah, I agree. I bet she is. And you know what? Sometimes I can, you can like visualize, you know? And I think she did have like, a kind of like a photo I think it, I think it was on one of the panels like that she was on you know as her avatar and I think she did and I think I was right that she was um, good very you know pretty and also her inside like she didn't know me that well and one day when you know I kind of needed her she she came in she, she came flying and and uh, you know she's a uh, She's been very kind to me. Um, and, you know, I appreciate that. Okay, I didn't. I don't know. She, <laughs> I don't know because I'm lost as hell. I know! Okay, so thank you, R. I'm going to say that, okay? Uh, conservative. <laughs> and it was because of her gender narrative she has going on at the moment okay so who is this kelly J that went on here if anybody can tell me that children who want to fit well feel happier and more comfortable doing all the things that tradition tells us girls do it's, it's, it's yes. really i think about challenging yes, what is a mere yes. tradition like, like pink and blue and yeah. toys and 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 games and experiences that we see as being essentially masculine like playing cowboys and indians or soldiers and essentially feminine like playing dolls and hospitals. The, the idea is that every child should be free to do both. And at the moment, if you feel passionately that you want to do all of the things that are traditionally associated with the other gender, it, life is really, really tough. And this Why is it, may I ask, why is it that this was not an issue when I was a kid? Why is it that when I was growing oh up in the 1970s, because things move forward, whatever boys could do or could hang around with boys and wear jeans and tomboy, we called them tomboys. And tomboys and all that kind of stuff. Why is it that um, just because a little boy wants yes, to sit in his mom's heels or a little girl wants to cut her hair short and chase frogs and shoot guns, that they are automatically then um, sent into the yeah. sent into the Soft. whole gender abattoir. Why is it that we need to do this? Why is this now the kind of thing where um, now we are being referred to gender clinics or uh, encouraging parents to refer their kids to gender clinics or kids being convinced that they can... Okay, I think what she's trying to say here is that she's saying, like, she's minimizing what she's been saying in a way. She's saying that if, if in my opinion, in my opinion, she's saying that if people, like, girls will cut their hair short and play sports, well, even, that doesn't make them transgender, like, you know, it doesn't automatically just because. And she's claiming that, right, like the same as what I just said, but that they're automatically sent to a transgender clinic. Now, I don't know uh, that it's that simple. <laughs> like, I just don't think it's that simple. Um, it, nobody's going to be sent to, ref, excuse me, referred to a, like, transgender center or whatever the hell it is she said um, just because they're girls, a tomboy, or they're little 
six-year-old boy or whatever is putting mommy's shoes on, okay? It's not that simple. Change sex, which they cannot. This is not something that happens in life. It can't happen. We are not clownfish. We do not change sex. Um, but let's continue. This is this is so infuriating. Let's continue. This mission. I don't know why Videl was even mentioned. I can't understand how we've ended up in a place where people get that easy. Damn, what's wrong well, with that? The reason you have there is that we've decided what makes a girl a girl, and we've decided what girls should do, and what boys should do. And yeah, but they, 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 they want to decide them. for themselves. They don't want you to decide yeah. what they are. No, my little boy wore tutus, and, and, and little heels, oh, and, oh, around the house, and he oh, absolutely God. loved it, and not once did I think he must be a girl. Okay. I just thought that was a boy. In you're, a you're telling me about you, not him. Okay. That, that's the whole he point about when you, when you said he was a girl. when you said well that's yeah. fine then but but other other boys other okay. children so, born as boys do they honestly feel that they're girls. Well, maybe maybe um, there is a certain degree of internalized homophobia going on. Maybe the child is getting a very strong message from parents who are homophobic who do not want to have a gay child. Um, maybe right. there are all kinds of issues. Maybe it's just a phase that kids grow out of, uh, which is one of the reasons why it's so dangerous to give children puberty blockers, because puberty is the great dividing line. After puberty, a lot of children grow out of these phases, you know. Um, and so to deny a child the ability to go through puberty is an amazingly dangerous and terrible thing to do, not only because puberty is the time when kids... I personally, now this is just my opinion, would have preferred, like, if, if you know, if I had a child and they, you know decided like uh, they wanted to be a boy and they were a girl or vice versa I would prefer them to have felt that way for quite some time and before they did a major thing that they were old enough to really uh, make a decision like that but past that I wouldn't want to stop my, you know, that's just my opinion. Everybody has their own, but some are homophobic, and a trust me, decision. I'm far from that. And when kids really go through a journey of self-discovery, thank you, J4 Dallas, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, is that you? They. Is that you, Jeffrey Sanchez? Huh? Is it? If that is Jeffrey Sanchez, thank you, my love. Thank you. I don't know if it's you, but if it is, thank you. And if not, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Um, anyway. Good Lord. Uh, maybe if we just let kids discover. Oh, hi, Jeffrey. That is Jeffrey Sanchez, Not my Dior, uh, my Dior my connection par excellence, who I adore. Thank you so much, baby. You know, um, the other day when um, I came here and I walked in, um, I smelled Meg. Right on. He smelled Soft. divine. He smelled right on. like a very gorgeous high-end Dior fragrance. Sauvage if you will. And I buried my nose <laughs> in his neck and sniffed very, very deeply. Business. So thank you, Jeffrey, for <laughs> for, for sending us exactly, that wonderful sir. stuff. I appreciate exactly. it. Thank you so much for Doesn't matter. Um, They're yours, so anyway, you know? Why don't we just let kids explore and grow and figure out who they are without pressuring them into thinking that they can change sex or that they have to go through some life-altering, literally life-altering procedure, whether it's surgical or pharmaceutical. Nobody has to. impact the rest of their lives. Let these kids be gay or let them not be gay. Let them just experiment, grow out of it, do whatever it is that they're going to do. And if they reach a certain age and they feel genuinely uncomfortable in their skin or they are transgender, then let them make that decision after they turn 18. Leave gay kids alone. Yeah, Leave gay children account. alone. Stop this grotesque conversion. <laughs> That's therapy. her it yelling, vile. bandit. Absolutely vile. That's her and, being you know, for all these people who like, like to screech about non-binary, this and that. Whatever. Their view like, of, like, um, just proper mad. behavior of the sexes is extremely binary and rooted in the 1950s. But let's continue. But they're not, because their sex is completely immutable. Okay. And we talk about surgery. Sarah, that was so when, they, when they say that they are, said. when they say that they, 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 you know, they're getting suicidal as they approach puberty because they know that they're going to develop is much more prominent male organs and, and yet inside time? they're absolutely, absolutely female. What yeah. do you think they're doing? Do you think they're just lying? Or do you think they're what do you think mischievous? What inside female mean? What does absolutely inside female even mean? We're well, not going to watch the whole thing. If you speak to these children, I, I, I really want to understand where you're coming from, but, but, but you can't answer my question with, with another question. Like, you have a child who, and I've met children like this, it's not hard to, to, to meet them. Or you can yeah, see them being bandit. interviewed. There's lots of brilliant absolutely. stuff on YouTube. Look, look up Fox. Um, Fox Fisher, who's a, an activist. And I absolutely, 
I just can't help but think that she, that the way that that was written out was a little bit like she had some help, if you know what I'm saying. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is where her help came from. That's just speculation on my part, just my opinion. Let me see something. Let me see how, how far she really does uh, watch this thing. Oh, for love. Okay, so we'll... I'm going to fast forward a bit. Watch a little bit more, and then um, I'll cut to what I wanted to cut to. And, uh, yeah, because I, I, I did not want to turn this into this. I did not... I did not do my due diligence. So you all can talk about me like a dog now, okay? <laughs> I think it's contagious. I think it's a slight oh, social God. contagion. Oh, no. Well, well, let's just unpick what contagious. you mean by that. You think you can catch it? Let me lower this a little. No, I think that... Well, I'm just going to look up contagion on your behalf for we, everybody else's we got benefit, an idiot right? Okay, you can It's the sanctimony for me. I'm being patronising. I'm not patronising. I'm trying to understand the words that you're using. Right. Social contagion. So I'll tell you of an instance of a girl that's been raised from birth... The communication of a disease from one person or organism to another by close contact. So you don't so mean that. There's ever a social contagion. So punk is not a social contagion. That's a movement of innate people. That is not what social mm. contagion this means. Is coming from. It, contagion Maybe does I'm refer to contagious illnesses, but social contagion is a totally say, separate like phenomenon. Them, this man is playing stupid. He knows exactly what that means. He's just trying to uh, be a good that soldier. That is well, perfect. Well, like so 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 yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So you think it's trendy? Yeah, no, Texas, I, I feel you. Yeah. Okay, well, let's talk about I, the ones who aren't. Let's talk about the ones who are real. Hear me, I f not, 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 not the victims of a trend or a social contagion. What, what do you think is going I'm on in their minds that makes them to, so... Um, leave this um, one because this was not something that I planned to, to do on my channel and um, I, I just prefer to move it along. Okay, so the, the other thing, let me see what time it is. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to um, just kind of get a chuckle at, um, hold on a second. Uh, give me a minute. <clears throat> oh, why'd I do that? That was stupid. I could just go back to this. Uh, bring that up. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Okay. Um... Okay, so remember earlier I said the to what the funniest react is definitely without a doubt on um. Eh. Wait a minute, is it still here? Yeah, it's still here. Am I crazy? Yeah, is uh Sarah's? Hold on a second. Guys are like, no, you are slower than slow can possibly be. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. So, I watched um, this a long movie. <laughs> Screw you, Sarah. <laughs> Screw you. I seen this on Sarah's, and it was fucking hilarious. But, um, but you got to check her thing out because she has other stuff on there uh, this is hilarious no self-awareness wanted to make this quick video because I want this to is it. um you know Callie's um you know 2023 very quick video a word I get my message across clear so I don't know how many of you all saw my recent community tenant post but I very let's read it Oh, wait, does she read it? Let's see. much meant every single word that I said in it. After reflecting on my 2022 while been home in Ch Chicago, I'll never pri prioritize YouTube or the Internet. 
uh, to be honest, as much as I used to. After all the darkness, jealousy. <laughs> Oh my God, jealousy and vile, which doesn't, is, I don't know what the hell that is, what kind of word that is, but jealousy, unless she's talking about her jealousy, I don't know, and vile that was thrown at me and my community, oh, and then we got the black and purple hearts, I can honestly say, never again. 100. My city and my loved ones are more important. So I choose me for 2023. Fuck y'all. And then she gives the finger. Going forward, this means I'll be uploading at my own pace. Changes will come to my other platforms. <laughs> I can't. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace. Happy 2023. That is so sanctimonious, so insane. Can't you just say Happy New Year? First of all, okay, we know that you're not going to not, you know, be a nut on the internet. We know you're going to act like you've always acted. Number two, um, you better prioritize something or get a job. Because you're you're not it's not working out for you. It would be a good second. It's like it would be a good side hustle. But I really think she needs to get a job. Hey, she needs to get out of the house. I feel like she's up there getting weirder and weirder. And then <laughs> second, third, you know, this is all in fun and all my opinion. Oh my God. Okay, let's see. As I reflected on 2022 and just like the complete vitriol and vile that was thrown at me for an entire year um, at me and my community for deplorable reasons or reasoning, um, never again. <laughs> and I feel like for 2023, psychotic laugh, me, this means that I will probably be uploading more infrequently. There are going to be changes coming to my Because they're platforms. together and she's fighting his battles, bandit. My Instagram, you all can support me there. Um, <coughs> as far as content, I do so plan on doing She's like, I'm monetized on Instagram. You could support days. me there. And do not worry. For those of you who come Don't to worry. the Crisis Stream community tab where I asked who was still here um, since before and after, I'm still going to be doing my giveaway. I just have to get to. Do not worry. Guys, don't worry. She's still going to do her giveaway. She's still... Don't worry now. Who in the hell... Who... Who... Why would you ask who is still here before and after my crisis stream? I'm guessing that a lot of people since then for maybe not right after the stream, which, yes, a lot of people fled, but you constantly asking i can't imagine like okay yes i've got my cash app up but how often do i even mention it i hardly do it's basically anything i ever would get would go to equipment you know for content but i mean that's not what it's about i can't imagine being like even after you're supporting me by giving me views by being a member whatever and me saying my electric uh, my like my power is going to be cut off uh, i can't give anybody content unless they uh i, I need sixty dollars or whatever i would be i i just wouldn't let them do that like that would not be an option period Period. That's on per. Video because I did not want my message to go lost on anyone because as they saw changes to my platforms or anything like that, I just don't want people to be acting funny or wondering what's going on or whatever. But I'll be choosing me for 2023, and this means um, there's going to be a lot of changes to. Uh, my <laughs> Do you always choose there's you? A lot of changes to uh, my additional platforms and even my OnlyFans. <laughs> so what are you changing on your OnlyFans? I saw on Sarah's what you do. I love you all who have been here to support me. But right, Sarah. I genuinely could not care less about anyone or anything else, especially as I've been home here in Chicago. 
and it's just been nice. I think you should just stay there and not go back to wherever, man. And that's just where my priority is, and nothing, mm-hmm. no one, not even the internet or YouTube, will be more important than. I don't know, paying your rent, having a roof over your head, that should be the most important to you. I appreciate those of you who've been supporting Oh, God. As we all know, internet support is fickle, and whoever's here is here, and whoever decides to leave, see you when I see you, okay? It's been nice knowing you. I will have a video. It's been nice knowing you? What? And, um, I'll just. I want to tell that guy, run for your life, dude. Keeping updated or. Whatever else, because I genuinely just, I, I don't care. <laughs> and um, I love you guys. I hope you're having an amazing 2023. I uh, hope all is well. And yeah, I will talk to you all soon. Happy 20. Shut up. Oh my God. Oh dear Lord. Oh shit. So as I'm going to be closing out, I am going to, hold on a second, guys. I am going to do it with something absolutely hilarious and I'm doing it from GP's channel because his laughter during it is too fucking funny like just too funny okay but I appreciate y'all so much and before you leave here Hit that like button. I will very much appreciate it. Okay. Came back to some language. Ah! <laughs> Did you come right in as I was saying? Oh, shut up. <laughs> All right. I think I have it. Do I have it right where I should have it? Yes. All right. The position that she could. Let me make sure that this is shared so I don't humiliate myself. Again. Oh, it is up there. Okay, wait. Yes. You know, control them. You know what I'm saying? If Nessa yeah. had his YouTube channel, she would never be able to control them. So she was like, I gotta so eliminate just that check channel first. this out. I gotta break him down. I gotta put him in. I gotta put him in. I had to like start it a little <laughs> bit before. Then I'm gonna rebuild him up the way I like it. <laughs> listen, listen, listen to me. Oh you call God, me Miss DC. Let me stop. Miss <laughs> Media Girl. Just stupid. What type of best makes it when DC say that? I'm sorry, uh, guys. I'm the worst with timestamps. Upstage somebody else, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. Oh my God! So we gonna go see what woman? This guy can he cracks me up. Yeah, like he cracks me up. This is the clip. Oh, but. My God. I like really, like I said, wanted to take it from his um, channel because the laughter Um, is just beautiful. Oh, here go Vidal. Mr. BX Boy reads Vidal for filth. Reads Vidal for filth. She's still talking like she's back in the 60s, isn't it? Reads Vidal for filth. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, it's not a nostalgia. It's videos. That's my fault. Like I said, I am the worst with timestamps, guys. Like, oh, here we go. What? 50 old woman, 60, 80 old woman do this. I ain't paying for YouTube premium. So fuck y'all. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god. Oh, I can't make it bigger. Look at this. What the fuck is this? Groovy, baby. Oh my god. They, look at them. They dancing better than them. Look, she's gonna back it up on this. You don't want that. Look at that. <laughs> Whenever you see a man hips go backwards, <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, I had to do it. I had to do it, Texas. She's like, where's that? Where's that? <laughs> Thank you, soft reset. And it's also it's in my, um, but his hips you know, my, com- oh my yeah, community tab. But thanks for putting this link in. I really appreciate it. It looks like he's about to jump on her back, don't it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you, know how, you know how some people pick up the, you know, like, I would pick up Like, the, yeah, his laughter in this like, is just to too to fucking back. funny. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, he's not even shaking no hips or nothing. Let that be. Let, let's take this away. Let me give y'all a hypothetical. Let this be Christina, <laughs> the Latina, or one of those women. Let this, let this be her. Let this be somebody that next really into. Her. Hell, let me even say this. You think if Savannah was in DC spot, you think Megs would be. His hips would be all the way to the fan, or he would damn near have some Their faces, too, are so funny. Like, Texas! 
his whole oh, his whole in the air. Me with those emojis. I can't. I almost the, I almost died when I see this. <laughs> You see that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is going on here? Oh my gosh! You see that? Look at his face! What is going on? Like, what's he doing right here? I'm excited to talk to him about personal space. Oh god! She did. She did it slickly. Look at. Look at. Look at that. Nick. Oh my God! In her next T-shirt. Oh Jesus. Oh my God. I know. And I want the go goes. Please no. Oh my God. Oh, dear Lord. I can't. I can't. <laughs> you know what the belly bump is? That belly bump is the yes, Don't come back in the water. <laughs> I'm not dying. I'd be good if I didn't have the means. A home she she done. Like, She's lost on. her I'll mind and her money. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. How do they not get, um, <laughs> oh like, my god. you know, commute, claim, uh, claim. Oh, here they go get wild. Look, they get wild in this one right here. I'm sorry, ladies. I want to know what 60 year old woman or 70 or 80 or 100 does this on the internet. Look. Look at that. Look. Oh, oh lord. Oh, oh dear okay. god. Look at this. Look. I'll give her this. <laughs> they they got balls to embarrass themselves like this. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> oh, God. Right, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was great. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. That was beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, guys. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you very much. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Oh, my God. I'm pathetic. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> I sound like a pathetic parrot. Okay. But I, I love spending my mornings and shit with you. I don't know exactly what when my next stream will be. Uh, my schedule is so, it's changing and I don't know exactly what it's going to be like. So, I will be back ASAP as soon as possible. And um, thank you for coming. You don't have to thank me. I appreciate you guys coming. I didn't think anybody would be here um, this early to be honest. But okay. So I hope everybody has a really good day, and um, I will see you next time. Um, and um, for my mods, um, you know, if you have a Twitter or something, we'll find a way so that if I need to say something to you, we'll figure it out. Uh, oh, yeah, I, um, we all have a Twitter. The, well, at least three of us do right here. Okay, have a great day, guys. Bye.